your day, we're just here as a guest, all right? Yeah. We only come every five years. So what I want to do is sort of the get a few names and numbers so that 2020, which is our anniversary, we've got to fly past with the memorial flight. I'm trying to get right. And there'll be a lot of people here. Be there'll good. be a 10-good salute and everything. Uh, but we're leading up to that. It usually takes about 18 months to book the flight and everything. But what I need to do is talk to everybody who comes here every year. And so I've got some numbers to give you timings and plans yeah. and so that you're involved. We know you're here every year. You know what I mean? I was here about two weeks ago, actually, because somebody told me the site had been vandalised. And I'm raising money to make sure that it's all kept up. Uh, I've got money. And uh, apparently, look, it's, ooh, ooh. I've got black paint, I've got gold paint. And I think it's painted gold by the look of it. Because it'll yeah. be there for Sunday. I said, that's fine. I said, for, the, for you lads, fine, great. I said, because they're here on Sunday. I said, see if we can give it a quick lick round. Uh, I spoke to the River Authority, River and Canal Authority, and they said they're going to build, um, oh, come on, a bush hedge, a b box hedge, round the back to keep the weeds off it. And there'll be another little bit of a rose guard. All right, so, but what I want need is off, off some of you guys is some phone numbers so I can tell you what's going on for 2020. Yeah. Is that okay? Could we? Could you do that today? Mm. And e emails? Yes. You want emails? Yeah. And it, be better, e email would be better actually yeah. because I can give you the minutes as we're developing them. Yeah. At the moment we've got a problem in so much as the memorial flight finishes the end of September, which is a problem. The guys got killed the end of September, didn't they? So yeah. we either have the Sunday before or the Sunday after. We may have to have the Sunday before, which is not etiquette, apparently. You should always have it after the event. Right. Yeah. You know what, what I mean? What but year it's sometimes is it? What year is it? Uh, 2020. Two years' time. 2020. Right, yeah, the order time. of the service is the vicar's going to read his lesson out and what have you. And what happened. Because we used to read that book. Vicar's got it all right down, so he may have done it. Then when he's done that, I'm going to lay the reeds. Then when the reeds should be back in line, they should go on up there. And then, last boat. That's about it. Okay, you're going to do order of service there today, are you? <coughs> Where do you want the standards? We've got two standards. Well, the standards are going to be at the back. Yeah. You see all the Yeah. And then we should line up even numbers each side. And the vicar's okay, just yeah. gone to get into his robes. He's well, ready. <laughs> like I say, we're your guests today, but don't let me leave today without a few numbers, will you? Yeah. All right. And then I'll, keep it. I'll give him my What's email. Right? Hey. I can keep it in the, <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. In the minutes as well. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a bit of card with me. I'll write it on in a little while. I'm the vicar here in Cromwell. Um, been here just over a year. My apologies, but I wasn't able to be with you last year because um, I was having an operation at the time. So, uh, but I'm very delighted to be here today and to continue this uh, tradition of marking. Just a reminder then of why we're here today. 42 years ago, on the 28th of September 1975, 11 men from 300 Troop 131 Independent Parachute Squadron of the Royal Engineers Territorial Army were on an 80 mile night navigation exercise on the River Trent. During a 4-6 gale and with the river in full flood, their assault boats were swept over the weir. Of the 11 soldiers on board, 10 were drowned. Sapper Raymond Cannon, Sapper Norman Bennett, Sapper James Black, Sapper Stuart Evenden, Sapper Peter Evenden, Sapper Ian Mercer, Sapper Alexander O'Brien, Sapper Terry Smith, Sapper Ronald Temporal. Sapper Joseph Walker. One 
soldier, Sapper Pat Harkin, Harkin, was saved after clinging onto the assault boat for an hour, though he has now passed away. This was the largest peacetime tragedy in the squadron's history. And so we gather today at the scene of this tragedy to remember those young men who lost their lives that terrible night 42 years ago. Reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time I always find it a sobering experience to come down here uh, to the Trent, to the lock and to the weir. The immense power of the water that flows over it and the thunder of the noise it makes is daunting at any time. But of course it feels especially poignant today as we gather here to remember those whose lives were tragically cut short here. Our passage today reminds us that there is a right time for things, but the deaths that we remember today were at the wrong time. So it is right that we should come and give this time to remember them and the sacrifice that they made that night in the service of their country. And as we do so, and commit ourselves again to the God who holds all our time in his hands. So words from the hymn, O God, our help in ages past, which seem especially poignant in this place and on this day. Time, like an ever-rolling stream, bears all its sons away. They fly forgotten as a dream dies at the opening day. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, be thou our guide while troubles last, and our eternal hope. grow not old, as we the call less grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years come down.
gracious care and keeping all the men and women in our armed forces at home and abroad. Defend them day by day with your heavenly grace. Strengthen them in their trials and temptations and give them courage to face the perils that beset them and help them to know that nothing can separate them from your love. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord God of hosts, stretch forth we pray your almighty arm to strengthen and protect our service men and women. Support them in time and in their rest and training keep them safe from all evil. Endue them with courage and loyalty, and grant that in all things they may serve without reproach. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now I invite you to join with me in the words that Jesus taught us as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So a final prayer of blessing. May God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the church, the queen, the commonwealth and all humankind, peace and concord, and to us and all his servants, life everlasting. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always.